In today's video, we will be showing you how you can do a software update on your MyGika ATV195X and ATV329X. For 195X, you require to have a Phillips screwdriver, should be very small. Also, you require to have a toothpick so you can place it under recovery mode. And also, you require to have a micro SD that should be over 512 megabyte. For the ATV329X, you require to have a SD card. Then you have to visit mygikasupport.com website. On the left hand side, it says sign up. You do not have to create any account in order to download this file. Just go on the right, you will see a download button. Click on it, and you will get this little part that says all firmware in files. Select that. Once you are on this page, you have to scroll down and you will find ATV195X and ATV329. You have to select it. Now, once you're on this page, you have to select the one that says MyGika underscore ATV195X underscore ATV329X. It will take you to a brand new page. Now, under this page, it gives you all the steps that what you need to do, but the one that we need is going to be the yellow button on the right hand side. So you need to select that and it will automatically download the file for you. So you need to just click on cancel for now since we have already downloaded this. Once you have your file, it should be under download. I would really suggest if you want to right click on the download and say save link as and here you can select the desktop and you can save it. This way, it is already showing up on your desktop. Once that is done, minimize the page and then go ahead, grab your micro SD, in this case for the ATV195X, hook it up to your card reader. And if you have the ATV329, go ahead, connect your SD card to your card reader. You will hear and you will see it that your micro SD or for your 329x the SD card is connected to your computer. If you have any files on your SD card, go ahead make a little folder and drag and drop everything inside of it. And then once you go to your zip file, you will get the file inside of it. So go ahead and grab and drag and drop that on your SD card. Once the file movement is done, you should see it on your SD card that everything is inside. This part will take roughly between three to four minutes for the file to move. Once that's done, close down your folders, go ahead and remove your SD card out of your card reader. In this case, for the ATV195, remove your micro SD card from your card reader. For the ATV329X, Go ahead, connect SD card to the front of your box. Hold the power button in the front. Make sure that the HDMI is connected already and then connect your power, but still holding the power button in the front. You should hold it for maximum of 12 seconds until you see the recovery screen on your TV. For the ATV195, we have to use our screwdriver to open the two screws that are very near to your HDMI. So that way we can take the top part off from the ATV195X. Once that is done, then there is a little sleeve, which is metal sleeve. We can take that off too. And there is a little slot for the micro SD. Go ahead, connect that. Once that is done, go ahead and connect the HDMI to your TV. Make sure that your TV is turned on and then Grab the power, hook it up in the back. Before you push it all the way in, make sure you use your toothpick and I'm just going to hold it. It will make a little click noise once you push it in. Hold it in and then go ahead and connect the power. And then you have to hold the pin inside of the reset hole up to 12 seconds until you see this menu on the screen. So this is the recovery screen. So go ahead, grab your remote and scroll down and select apply update from EXT and then scroll down and select update from SD card. 
Now you will see a file showing up on the list. Go ahead and select it. And now do not touch anything and leave it alone for maximum five minutes. It will install everything. Once this is all done, you will see the recovery screen again. You have to click on reboot system now and now we will wait till the installation is done properly. It will go back on main screen. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and put some comments in the bottom of this video. Thank you.